Hello, everyone, and welcome to another live stream of the award show audit. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, number 41. Oh, yeah. How about that? I've been doing this for so long. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, tonight's show <laughs> is a little different in that we decided to take two different years and meld them together. Uh, because there was only one nominee in each of those years. Uh, I think we've done this before. We did, uh, I think it was 2001 and 2002. Because there was like one one year one and two, two together. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, well, thank you for the super chat, Sino Shroob. Thanks for reminding us. The finale to the Pokemon Platinum Baby Run is tomorrow. Uh, if you aren't sick of hearing Shadow and myself, there's quite a few hours on my Pi Guy Plays channel, my oh, yeah. gaming channel of uh, me and Shadow doing another stupid Pokemon run. It is one heck of a run, that's for sure. Where we play with all baby Pokemon. Yep. The whole way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they don't and, get to learn any new moves. They're stuck with the four that we start with. So. And they're all egg moves. It's, yep. it's a... It's a laugh riot of a time. Oh, it sure is. And Cynthia <laughs> is... Uh, a really cool strong. dancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It, it's a good run. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. I, I was listening to th the to an episode, <laughs> an episode where it all it all almost gets canceled. Yeah. Oh, that one. It was funny. <laughs> I, I had a good time. Yeah. Um, I was listening to it back a little bit. <laughs> also special shouts to the george lucas episode <laughs> Dude, that, that is still one of the best ones it's seriously uh, if you if you guys don't even want to watch the whole thing at least check out episode 23 that's yeah. the best one <laughs> like, it's got george lucas's face it's so good my favorite pokemon <laughs> yeah yeah okay um anyway <laughs> i don't have to do the songs because we're this is the long form, so let's just get into it. What uh, what nominees do we have? Okay, so like we said, uh, there's two nominees here. One is from 1997, and the other is from 1991. So just to avoid any confusion, the one from 1997 is called The Willows in Winter. The one from 1991 is Tailspin's first several episodes, Plunder and Lightning. It's the whole arc, I guess. So those are the two uh, nominees that we'll be talking about. I really don't have a preference as to which one we talk about first, so it's up to you, Pi, whichever one you want to start with. <laughs> Let's talk about Tailspin, I guess. Okay, all right. So this is the 1991 nominee, just to reiterate that one more time. Yep. Nominated from the Disney, itself. The Disney Afternoon block. Oh. Um, the first five episodes, we watched it in official TV movie form, thanks to CDCB sending us a link to it. Uh, but essentially, it's the first five episodes of the show. It, it forms like a, a bit of an arc that kind of introduces the world, the characters, the villains, the, what you can expect from an average episode. Uh, the plot is effectively that uh, Baloo from the Jungle Book is a pilot who flies planes... And one day, a little kid bear steals a jewel from some air pirates and meets up with Baloo. And then they get bought out by some lady and her daughter. And then they uh, they all go on a grand adventure uh, trying to steal back the, the jewel that gets stolen. Good guys and bad guys back and forth. And there's airplane battles. And Shere Khan is, is a, a fierce businessman. All because Baloo didn't pay rent. So did you did you ever think that we'd be talking about a Jungle Book related property again? No, and I wish How? I, I wish I never had to think <laughs> about the Jungle Book for the rest of my life. How many? I'm gonna look it up. Is it like two years since we talked about that Jungle Book episode? Let's see. 2019. So going on three almost. Let's see. Which Jungle. scares me. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, that's the basic plot. It's five episodes. 
So, like, it's kind of hard to summarize exactly what happens in each of them. Um, how did? What did you think of this? Well, I'll admit, I have not watched a lot of the Disney afternoon cartoons or any, like, sort of, like, animated spin-off show of one of their big movies that they made. Um, so I don't really have context compared to other animated series around this time throughout the 90s. But it's goofy. It's just really goofy. Pun- no pun intended. Goofy's um, not in this. Yeah, no pun intended. Um, it's just so weird to see a bunch of, like, down... Like, I, I don't want to say down to earth, but, like, you know, the animal characters from this movie that, you know, I've seen as a kid flying airplanes and Shere Khan's in a suit for some reason and he's like a corporate overlord and then there's just these like new original characters and it's like who came up with this it's such an odd odd idea for a show I mean I thought it was charming like it's it's amusing and humorous I found myself laughing at the sheer premise but I don't know the sheer the, premise. The sheer, yes, the <laughs> but, sheer con premise. It was May, uh, May of 20, uh, 2019 that we did that yeah, episode. So almost so. three years, <laughs> almost oh three years gosh. later, and, and we're here to talk about another weird Jungle Book project. Time is a circle. Uh, I'm never gonna get away. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Look, I, I don't know. This show, it's not really my thing. I, I don't really care about planes, uh, and it's a little on the goofier side as you mentioned um but but i think it works as a as a show um i guess we can debate the merits of it as a movie as opposed to just like five episodes of a show um because there are you know structural things that make that different Uh, five episodes of a show is not is not the same as a something that's made as a movie per se they have to do kind of you know I guess, like, cliffhangers at the end of each episode, and they have to do, like, each episode has its own three-act structure as opposed to the whole thing. I don't know. But, but no, it's not really my thing. I never, I never watched this before. I didn't grow up watching it. It was before my time. Um, But I think there's something to it. I I definitely think, at least it to this, I I can't speak to the rest of the series, but at least to these episodes, um, it didn't, I don't think it, like, treated the audience like it was stupid, but it did contain a lot of, kind of kid show isms the the bad guys are just super dumb um there's a lot of kind of goofy slapstick that lets them get away and and so there's not really that much drama they get shot at a lot in the planes which is kind of surprising but there's a there's a huge betrayal what are you talking about oh my god (laughs) a huge betrayal that no one sees coming well that's the thing i i think it's like it's super unfair to talk about it like that because if you were a kid growing up in this time, like, I don't know, maybe you would fall for it. Maybe you would believe that the little kid betrays Baloo, but from an adult perspective, from someone who's seen TV before, um, you know, it's kind of obvious that he's what he's doing, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think the worst element is the songs. Their songs, they sing. I guess in every is it in every episode because I think it was in every part of this. There was at least at least there's four at least, songs. There's at least three or four. The, the pirates get there. one. Uh, the the lady gets one, and hers is awful. Oh yeah, that's uh, the worst one. Baloo's one in the first part is all right. Like it's just kind of like a catchy. It's like. Look, sing Bare Necessities, but don't sing Bare Necessities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, why? Why didn't they just sing Bare Necessities? I don't know. Is the sh- I don't is the rest of the show a musical? Someone has to tell us because I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, is there? Is it one of those shows where there has to be a song in every episode, no matter what? <laughs> it's Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the pirates get like a big goofy number. I don't know. Uh, like, Shere Khan was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Like, 100%, he was fantastic. Um, because he, he, uh, he plays the part really well, surprisingly. It's just, it's like a tiger head on a bot, a body with a suit on. Um, but he, he ends up being pretty menacing and threatening, and they don't even tip in this episode 
he's not the he's not the villain of the episode. Like he's uh, he's clearly an antagonist. He clearly behaves in a very menacing way. Um, but he is not the main bad guy, which is pleasantly surprising. Yeah. No, I mean, <clears throat> I think it's interesting. I know we were joking about it, but I like that there's multiple factions here at work. Yeah. Like, it's interesting. The pirates stole from Shir Khan. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's, so there's, like, Shir Khan that's not related to the pirates. There's the pirates. There's Baloo and his team. Um, yeah, and I mean, it's, like, it's... For a kid's show of its time, I would say it is relatively ambitious. It the the fact that they kind of the fact that they even have this at all that it really sets up the whole thing. The show doesn't start with Baloo already knowing the kid, already knowing the lady that buys the place, already knowing the daughter. Like no, first Baloo gets introduced to the kid, and then his building gets bought out because he didn't pay his bills. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and then it introduces her and her daughter, and it kind of like weaves them in pretty naturally. I think as an introduction, it it serves pretty well. Um, but there is a lot of talk about like debts and not paying your bills in this, which I'm just mm -hmm. like, are kids interested in that? Like, do they really understand what this means? Like, I guess it doesn't matter. No, they just like seeing the bear fly the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, honestly, I I don't know that I would say this is award worthy, but given the time period, it's not like time period, a man. Lot. Yeah, I know. Given the time period, there's not like a whole lot that it could really go up against. And I suppose it is ambitious for being like an extended beginning to the show. I mean, this is like we said, five episodes, and not a lot of shows go on for that long. Like, so you know, I mean, I I respect it for that much at least. Um, King Louis is here, not played by Christopher Walken. Thank goodness. It's a bummer. But bummer. what are you going to do? No, that's a relief. <laughs> oh, big do. No. <laughs> I want to be like you. No. <laughs> so look, uh, this is 100% better than the live action Jungle Book. It is. We, can, we all agree. It is no... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I, I kind of do f fall firmly in the, I can appreciate this, and I do think that for the time it's good, and for the audience it's aiming at, it's good, but overall, I kind of thought it was a little long, and at a certain point, all of the plain stuff just kind of looks the same. Like, they, they do vary it up a little bit. There's a few different kind of, like, gunfights where the planes are getting gunned down, um, and then, like, at the end, there's a big lightning machine that's getting shot at the plane. Uh, but a lot of the aerial stuff, I don't know, like, I guess if you're a kid that's into planes, you'll be impressed and you'll really like it. The, like, the animation's good, but I, I just didn't care. Um, I guess, ultimately, the thing about a show like this that holds me back, just as an adult, as someone not in the, the Angel Age, is that there isn't stakes really mm -hmm. um you know that they're gonna win they're not gonna get killed like baloo loses his plane and then spoilers he just gets it back at the end of the episode like yep. there, there's not really any consequence um and i have a feeling the show itself is is incredibly episodic uh but i could be wrong on that yeah that's that's kind of the sensation i got as well Uh, so. I will. I mean, I will at least comment on the fact I'm surprised that there are, there is as much guns and shooting and you know dog fights as there is, uh, considering this yeah. is Disney. You know, Disney. Oh yeah, <laughs> they fly planes uh, very close to oh, yeah. buildings, tall buildings in a city, which is uh, mm -hmm. something that you you know that 91 is fine. 2001, probably not. Yeah. But that's not the show's fault. It's just I'm No, no, no. History has yeah. to come in and ruin it later on. It's just surreal to see, to yeah. be honest. It really is. Um, I really don't care for the little girl character at all. Yeah, she's... she's you know, I don't know. They had, like, Webby in the original DuckTales, just tag-along little kid character. Uh, at least, like, 
the the main kid he he does stuff like he's a navigator oh but it, it, the show has also got to be 90s in that like he's got a backwards hat on yeah. and he what's what's his thing he rides on like a, a an extreme kite behind the plane <laughs> and does flips <laughs> defies the loss of gravity yep uh yeah it's surreal <laughs> yeah but, but yeah if you, if you like planes man yeah this is the show for you 100 <laughs> yeah if you like uh jim cummings as a pirate yep you're in luck <laughs> i prefer to miss thanos thank you no 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 <laughs> no do-overs here Um, Zoro says, I like the character design and animation, not saying modern cartoons look bad, but the level of polish was only possible that, but, uh, by Disney in the Renaissance. There's definitely a very specific style to this. Um, there is one thing, uh, during the scene where, uh, Rebecca, that's her name, she shows up at Baloo's house, um, part of the door isn't painted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just kind of forgot to paint it. It's not like it was the wrong color, it just wasn't there. Uh, it was a very weird animation mistake, but that's very typical of stuff at this time. And and overall, yeah, the animation quality is good. The the planes look pretty consistent too, which is surprising. Um, oh yeah, I feel I feel like that's kind of difficult. I mean, it's it's done with CG now because it's a lot easier. <laughs> Blue didn't pay the doorbell. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the other thing too. I, did you laugh at anything in this? Not really. Cause it's, cause it's like little kid show humor, TV, like, yeah, and it's fu it's fine. Like I'm, I'm not knocking it. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I, I get a kick out of how messy Blue's house was at the start. Like there was some, there were some okay gags with that. Is there gonna be a poll this week? No, no, we're not doing a poll because these are these were two different years. I don't yeah, really see a point. There's not really anything to compare. They they were just nominated by themselves, and I guess they automatically won mm -hmm. as a result. So, oh, there's stuff to compare. Uh -oh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> well, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really have a lot else to say about this. I don't have a ton of experience with the Disney Afternoon Block. I've seen some of the original Ducktales, and it's it's solid. Um. But that's about it. I don't think I've seen any of the other. Not like I've seen like an episode of Goof Troop. Nice. <laughs> uh, I saw the the hilarious crossover between Aladdin and Hercules. Ooh, I didn't even it's, know that happened. It's not great. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. it's very weird. It's it's worth watching because it's weird. Uh, I've seen a few episodes of the insane Timon and Pumbaa show. That show is very weird. If you thought Lion King one and a half is weird, no, it's not the weirdest thing in the Lion King franchise. Timon and Pumbaa is like a it's like a Ren Stimpy type cartoon. Oh jeez. <laughs> not as gross, but still there. Also, half the episode names are um are puns on like African countries. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I think I think like Uganda be kidding me is one of them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just, okay. That's that's brilliant. I, I can't. No, I, got I probably show. <laughs> entertainment Joe, you're you're probably right. Um, I I've heard of Gargoyles, and from what I've seen of it, it does look good, and I think I would I think I would like that show. Hercules is one Saturday morning. Well, uh, what's the uh, I guess her I guess what is that after the Disney Afternoon Block? That was their next. Uh... I think so. Okay. Well, well. well. Listen, I was a, I was a Lilo and Stitch the series kid. <laughs> oh uh and don't don't worry shadow there was a fantastic voyage episode of timon and pumbaa oh my god of course <laughs> there was of course there was don't worry why ever wants there be you ever want to see timon go inside a pumbaa no absolutely <laughs> not look That's if you smell bad if you, if you smell bad standing downwind I, I don't even want to know what his guts smell like oh Oh dear. 
Thoughts on Buzz Lightyear and Star Command Lloyd in Space and Teacher's Pet. Shadow, have you ever seen any of these Disney cartoons? I've actually ever... seen the Buzz Lightyear one. I liked it as a kid. Hmm. That's the only one I've seen, though. I've oh, seen sorry. Movie. The title the title of that Timon and Pumbaa episode is Uganda Be an Elephant. <laughs> Uganda Be an Elephant? Yeah. What? Uganda Be an Elephant, obviously. I don't... <laughs> don't understand oh man i don't know from what i've seen it's a it's a it's a real interesting show yeah oh man oh uh, i've also seen the hercules episode i know it's one saturday morning but the one there's one hercules episode that features meg because it it takes place before the movie but like i don't know you gotta you gotta get those cross promotional characters in there so hercules did meet meg before the events of the movie but uh mind wipe uh she her her um her proportions are drawn nightmarishly if i recall oh, she has dear. like twig legs well you know because she's got a very specific figure in the yeah. in the movie uh but you know they didn't have the budget for that no nope. uh dang all of these shows sound magnificent <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i've always wanted to see buzz lightyear uh have not and Disney will not be putting it on Disney Plus. Nope. So, ever see the Legend of Tarzan? Nope. Is that a Tarzan show? Tarzan show? I have not. Um. Oh yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Um. What is it? The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh? Or is that the, the many one adventures? The theme song that everybody loves. Gotta get up. Yeah. Gotta get going. <laughs> Gonna see a friend of mine. Yes never saw it <laughs> but i know that it has a catchy theme song <laughs> <laughs> uh, i just want to real quick let's see uh yeah uganda be an elephant to kilimanjaro bird oh okay that that how that, to uh... how to beat the high costa rica that's not i guess they just have all sorts of countries the pain in spain frantic atlantic tat Tanzania Zany. What? Guatemala Malarkey. Back out in the outback. Uh, <laughs> Timon's time to go. That's not a pun. <laughs> Togo? Oh. Oh. Uh, Under a shady tree in a hot weather on what he believes to be a Wednesday afternoon, Timon eats a toxic bug and dies. He is destined... <laughs> He is he is destined for heck. What? Although the Wikipedia page does not say heck, uh, but gets a second chance. So an angel agrees to send him back to Earth so that he can do one good deed to enter Meerkat Heaven. Timon resolves to never again do any good deed since this tactic will ensure he'll live forever. That's the synopsis. When he eats a bug, he dies. That's <laughs> Toxic like... bug. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, Disney in the nineties was more metal than I thought. Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna, Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your short life. Well, if he just if he just never commits a good deed, then so so is so Hakuna Matata a lie? Then if they if they found this oasis of bugs, but apparently one of them will just kill you. So yeah, yeah, apparently. I told you it's like a Ren and Stimpy show type show. We saw an episode where one of them died, almost died. Or no, they both died at the end of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Go in Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> Be more Pacific. Oh, man. I feel like I could learn a lot from watching this cartoon. Ocean commotion. I want to watch some of these episodes. They sound great. At least I you had fun with the titles. You, you gonna join the club. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Madagascar. Madagascar about you. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Mo Mojave deserted. Mojave. Don't... Oh my god! <laughs> Don't break the China. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I hope I hope you guys are enjoying this. I I I don't mean to de to derail this by just reading these, but I'm getting a bigger laugh out of this than anything in this in the the. Uh, tailspin. Uh, shake your Djibouti. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like that one could be considered offensive. Okay, Bayou? 
Oh, I mean, I guess. Why are Timo Why are Tamar and Pumbaa in the Louisiana Bayou? Can anyone answer me that? Uh, well, you see, uh, they dug a tunnel there. <laughs> I don't know what they got. Uh, wait. The insomniac Pumbaa makes Timon read him warthog meerkat versions of the ant and the grasshopper, Goldilocks and the three bears. Hmm, is this is this like Brian Stimpy's fairy tales? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, this is Azu wow. episode. Great. Oh, cool. Africa Dabra. What does Zazu have? What connection does Zazu have to Timon and Pumbaa outside of like? You gotta get those cameo characters for two seconds in the film. You gotta get those cameo characters. Oh my god! I don't believe. I don't Bolivia. Catch me if you can, ya. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness! For forbidden Pumbaa, which is not a ton, uh, a pun. <laughs> Pumbaa act. Pumba and accidentally Timon are kidnapped by an alien spacecraft and taken to a vast laboratory. What? <laughs> There's aliens in the Timon and Pumba show. Has it, has anyone done a Timon and Pumba show rewatch podcast? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. Dude, this, is, this is a gold mine waiting to happen. Hmm. Waiting to be discovered. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's that's Disney for you. We can we can move on. Why don't Disney cartoons nowadays have have premises like this? They might. Eh, also, yeah. every everyone really hates this third season of Timon and Pumbaa. Just FYI. Why? TV trope. TV trope says so. Uh, they added they added a lot more humans to the show. Uh, also, I don't know. It's it's. Did they did they introduce a new character? A new main yeah. character that everyone uh, hates. Sh Shmoomba. Oh, Timon no. and Pumbaa. Is that, hey, did is you that know Pumbaa's love interest character? Did you know that there's Borderlands characters that are a reference to Timon and Pumbaa? Who? Pomon and Tumba. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Do you know what characters I'm talking about? No. Which game? Which Borderlands okay. game was it? I don't know. I gotta get back on TV tropes and find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. If the That's recast was still going, would we have done a recast episode of Timon and Pumba? Maybe. I feel like I talked about Timon and Pumba once on the recast. Never say never. Well, we talked about Lion King one and a half, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That is a great movie. Yes. We didn't invite you on that episode. No, that's okay. <laughs> we just had you on for the Jungle Book. Yeah, I, I would have uh, swapped them in a heartbeat oh if I had God. a choice. But, you know, Pi decided to shackle me and force me there against my will. So I didn't really have a choice. All right, All right so the episode Kahuna, Pota Kahuna Potato... <laughs> okay. Featured evil counterparts of the main duo named Pomon and Tumba. Two mini bosses you fight in Borderlands 2, while references to the main duo have the same names as their evil counterpart from the show. Hmm. Pomon and Tumba. I wonder if Borderlands or the devs actually knew that or not. No, they didn't. They probably didn't. Who who gave a crap about the Timon and Tumba show? <laughs> Someone. Somebody, I guess. Sure. Okay, here we go. Season 3 will never let us forget that Timon and Pumbaa are bestest best friends. The season blatantly spells it out nearly every episode and basically thrives on friendship moments between the two. While the first two seasons also possessed these qualities, it was balanced out with visual gags, slapstick, nightmare fuel, and Timon's witty snark and sarcasm. Not to mention it being made less obvious at that point. I'm going to start a new show where I sarcastically read TV tropes. So I love TV tropes, but sometimes some things are written by very weird people, clearly. Like, someone, okay. Uh, you know what? I take it back. Someone clearly did care about the Timon and Pumbaa show to write oh, something yeah. that passionate. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yeah. People, listen, there's a whole big debate because some people are mad because uh, Lion King One and a Half uh, contradicts things from the show about like timon's family so there's you know there's the timon and pumbaa wars 
where where people fight over what's really canon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> oh, people care, oh man. Oh my god. The Lion King is not something that I really care about the canon of. I don't think that was the proper English way to say that sentence, but I mm. I also don't care. <laughs> the episode Oahu Wahu has a talking statue named Bahuka order Timon to bring him to the airplane warning light from the Empire State Building, which he does. This is followed by a shot of the Empire State Building with several planes crashed into it. This scene was omitted in the Disney Channel and Toon Disney airings for obvious reasons. I'm surprised they didn't do a Tailspin crossover with that one. Oh, come on! There's gotta... Uh, uh, someone mentioned on the stupid TV tropes that there's an episode that references werehogs. Ha yeah. ha. Sonic. All right, let's... That's enough of this. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay. All right, so that was 1991. Hang now, on. Do I, do I hear a special guest from off screen? Oh, dear. Who is it this time? <laughs> is it? Don't say the name that I think you're gonna say. Who made the Lion King? Which it's... one? The is it Walt Disney? Oh my God! It's Walt Disney. Walt. <laughs> hey there! What? What's up? It is me, Walt Disney. Oh, uh, hmm. I made the Great Timon and Pumbaa show. Are you proud of that? I am very proud. Yeah, I'm proud be. of all my creations. What else did you create, Walt? What else did you create that you're proud of? If you, if you had to pick, like, three things that you're most proud of that you made, what would they be? zippity doo -dah. Oh, Okay. The <laughs> Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Wait, wait, zippity doo -dah. Just the song, right? Uh just the song right why yes that song is not affiliated with any film that's what that's what you like to make us believe are the rumors true of course the rumors are true i'm i'm coming to you from underneath the matterhorn as a talking brain in a jar oh what what would the third one be <laughs> mr disney furries of course yeah. oh I invented furries with Tailspin. Thank you. Uh, curse you, Disney. You did it again. Here at the Walt Disney Company, we believe all people are to be respected, including furries. But only during certain months. <laughs> we'll also pay for bills that are anti-LGBT the rest of the time. And what happens when people call you out for it? We don't care. No, oh, okay. That's Disney. Good job. Good job. Uh, GM Bailey asks, Mr. Disney, did you create our childhood? Why, no! A great man named Butch Hartman did that. All by himself. Nobody In else. fact, I once told him he was the next me. That explains Boy. a lot. <laughs> Boy, you, you know, I, as Walt Disney... Ah, uh, I made an adaptation of The Wind in the Willows called The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad or something. Anyway, let's talk about the next nominee. Okay, so. All right, Mr. Disney, you can you can get out of here. Get out <laughs> take, and bye. All right. Take so... your homophobia and go stuff it. Yeah, please. Uh, next up. 1997's hour-long nominee goes to The Willows in Winter. Yeah, so this is a sequel to The Wind in the Willows. Yep. Which is a book. And it, it was actually adapted several times, once by Disney. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. The <laughs> The Willows in Winter, we did some research while we were watching this. Apparently, The Willows in Winter is... The animated series is based on a novel that was written... Animated movie. movie. Animated movie, not a series. Sorry, sorry. Movie based on a novel written in 1993 that was meant to be a sequel to the original story. But, like, 90 years or 80 years after 
90, 90, however many years after the original story was written. I I don't yeah. know why, but money, dear boy. I didn't. I guess. Sure. I mean, I can't think of any other reason. It was definitely not. Yeah. It didn't. Definitely didn't feel like there was a creative vision here. I'll say that much. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride is based on it. So it's based on the original. Yep. Or the adaptation by Disney of the original. Yes. It's all so confusing. Um, but basically, this is about a bunch of anthropomorphic little woodland critters. Uh, due to a misunderstanding, one of them get, goes out in a snowstorm and gets lost, and everyone goes to look for him. Meanwhile, there's an egotistical frog that flies a plane and, and drops one of his friends out of it and then lands in a rich person's home, and uh, uh, shenanigans ensue. Yeah. Except he's a jerk. He's very, He's like a Daffy Duck type character. Um, this was interesting. Like the art was interesting. There's some pretty cursed faces in it, especially mm -hmm. on the human characters, which we weren't really expecting there to be human characters. Um, it, it, it this was something. It you know we we haven't seen. I don't know the original. I don't really know it. I. I know Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. That's about it. Um, this is just very weird. Basically, the the Toad like lies to everyone and tricks people and does all sorts of things. And then the humans catch him and they put him on trial. And there's like a bunch of judges that are like really excited to send this guy to jail. Like they're, <laughs> it's very weird. Um, and then one of the Two people like. Mr. Badger or whatever is like, all right, I'll write it. I'll write him a get out of jail free card. And then also a butler that he tipped once is also like, he is the kindest person that I've ever met. Yep, bribery. And because of that, he's able to get out of all charges. Yep. Yeah, he's a jerk. I didn't like him at all. He was just, I don't know. And maybe that was the point, but like, Duck, yeah, you're supposed to like, you're supposed to, you know, like Timon, like Eddie, like, like the pig from Will Vinton stuff, you know, you're supposed to kind of like to hate him, I guess, although in this case, he isn't even like clever no. with his schemes. I mean, at one point, he just, he just blatantly beats up a guy and steals his plane. Yep. Like the guy was nice enough to give him a plane ride. Uh, the frog's obsessed with planes. Which is hilarious because both of these nominees somehow had something to do with planes. Yep. And the plane stuff looks real good. It does. Uh, I don't know if it was rotoscoped or or maybe some CG like assisted by 1997. Um, not that the plane was CG, but maybe you know rotoscoped of a, a raw CG model. I don't know, but. Uh... Yeah, looked good. But like I said, there's a lot of really uncanny looking faces in this. Uh, especially when there's like a close-up shot of one character mm -hmm. looking dead at the camera. Yeah. And the um, especially. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, the the structure of this is very weird too. So it's um it has it starts off with live action footage of kids going to some lady and being like, please tell us a story. Which I guess is a reference to the first one that probably happens, but like it adds nothing. And then they're at the end. It it adds nothing. It it's just way no it's a way to pad it out. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it tries to be a frame story and like I get it. I mean I get the whole idea of like it's about someone telling their kids a fairy tale, like sure. But it doesn't serve any narrative or like symbolic. She narrates, purpose. but she like I don't know. I guess that's the reason she narrates, but we don't. You don't need a live action set you don't piece need to, to narrate. Explain a narrator. A narrator can just exist. Like that's totally fine. You don't need like to on the Powerpuff it. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been better if, uh, if Tom Kenny narrated this. Honestly, it would have been better if that entire like thing was animated at least like the rest of the movie. No, I don't want to see more humans. The less human characters, wow. the better. It could have been, I don't know, a family of frogs talking about, you know, the their well, relative. Anyway, I don't know. 
structurally, aside from that, there's it starts out being about uh, one of the animals that goes out in the snowstorm to look for something, and then they're like looking for him, and it kind of transitions to Mr. Toad doing his stuff and being a jerk and all that stuff, and then it transitions to like at the end it's then about his house is burning down yep. like structurally this doesn't feel like a movie as much as a, like a few vignettes which maybe the book is like that i'm not sure but it didn't feel like a cohesive narrative altogether by the way um mr toad he he gets away with all of his crimes mm -hmm. all right his ha he is responsible for his house burning down. It's his irresponsibility why it burns down. But then he gets a piece of mail that says, oh, yeah, your uncle in Louisiana or wh whatever state died. You get a bunch of money. And then and it's, that's a happy ending. Yep, and he's happy that his family member died because he gets a bunch of inheritance. Not not even a second of remorse for the fact that his family member died. He just he jumps for joy and celebrates, and that's the end. It. that's how mm -hmm. that's literally how it ends and it's just like what an unsatisfying conclusion yeah uh yeah i don't know there's there's characters in this that are like most likely served an actual purpose in the first story like the, the this is like a weasel or something like a mm -hmm. decorated up rat or like but uh, and I mean, I don't know. It's not. It, it's not really the movie's fault, I guess, for not explaining. But if you're gonna have the characters in it, like either, either just briefly cameo them, you know, characters in the first movie, or actually have them be in it and like do something with them. Yeah. But as it seems, like I, I couldn't tell the difference between the main. It's like Ratty and what was the other thing? A mole or something? Yeah, there's a mole. It's like Holy Moly and and Ratty. Yeah, I don't know. It was odd. <laughs> hey, Shadow. Yeah. You gone to be an elephant? No. No, <laughs> I don't wanna. Uh... You gone to be kidding me. <laughs> I like that one more. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be honest uh... with you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I don't know. I can see why it was nominated. I don't know what else you'd even put in this category for 1997. Seven. Well, yeah, actually, in seven, by seven, there were a few things that could have been here. Yep. It, like, it was all right. It This wasn't the worst thing. I, I was kind of intrigued by it, but I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. I didn't understand it because I didn't see the first one. I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, the fact that it's a sequel written uh like eighty dec eight decades after is not does not instill me with a lot of confidence that this was made from a genuine creative place. Right. Not written by the same guy, obviously. Yeah, definitely not. So Yeah, I I'm I'm in the same boat. Like I kind of see it why it would have been picked for a nomination, but Yeah. I don't know. I I think it would have been better off just being another year without an hour long category. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the I'd say the the plain animation is probably yeah. the best stuff in it. Yeah. But All right. Okay. Well, that's 1997 and 1991 then. So that is it. Those were the final long long form nominations. We did it. We did it, guys. Woo, celebrate. At least it wasn't dinosaur documentaries. At least it wasn't. I'm I'm forever grateful for that. <laughs> mm hmm. Man. Okay. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of death in Timon and Pumbaa. <clears throat> Dang. Timon and, Timon and Pumbaa gets stung by a scorpion-like beetle after learning that that its venom is fatal after 24 hours, and there's no Did you cure say for venom? it. Venom? Did Todd McFarlane write that episode by chance? <laughs> The two try to make their last day the best. Oh, this is a SpongeBob episode. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> With Timon acting nice towards every other animal in the Serengeti and Pumbaa getting the fame and fortune he deserves. However, when the time comes, they realize the venom has no effect on meerkats or warthogs. Did dying for pie rip off Timon and Pumbaa? I think it did. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's a Simpsons episode like that, too. Did the Simpsons <laughs> rip off Timon and Pumbaa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. What? 
the series finale, Cliphangers. After trying to get a worm on the cliffs of Moher, Timon and Pumbaa fall down, nearly plummeting to death, and see their lives' moments flash before their eyes. However, Pumbaa pulls out an umbrella, and the two safely land and try to eat the worm from before. I was really hoping you would say they see their moments flash before their eyes, and then the, the final episode is just a clip show. I was really hoping that's what you were going to say. Uh, that would be uh, fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, there's an episode called Hot Air Buffoons. Hey. <laughs> hey. 1999. Oh, that did do it before Powerpuff then. Pretty sure Hot Air Buffoon for Powerpuff was 2000 or 2001. Wow. Wow, this is a time when Timon and Pumbaa and the Powerpuff Girls were airing. And SpongeBob. Yeah. This is a weird time. 1999 I, I was, was crazy. I was young enough to not be aware, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> ghost boosters. After Timon sees an ad in the newspaper, he and Pumbaa decide to hunt a ghost in a house. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this this all this all Serengeti reboot of the Ghostbusters is <laughs> tragic. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. Uh what do we do at this point in the show? We would say what we would nominate. Okay. Um, I got nothing for 91, guys. Neither I don't know. I. There probably is stuff out there somewhere, but Nickelodeon wasn't making it. Cartoon Network wasn't making it. I don't know what to tell you. For 97, um, I have the first three episodes oh, of... Oh, you totally took mine, didn't you? Superman the Animated yes, Series. that is literally what I picked. <laughs> that okay, is literally well. what I picked. Well, we have the same nomination. That's cool yeah okay all right go for it then you you talk about it all right so yeah i mean the first three episodes of superman the animated series uh i know a lot of people like to hold batman the animated series in high regard rightfully so i think that superman the animated series is also a great dc cartoon um as well uh i have not seen the the first three episodes in gosh probably like 15 20 years i saw it when i was like really really young but i remember liking it um and honestly again given the competition i mean let's face it <laughs> i feel like if i did watch it i probably would enjoy it more than the willows in winter so <clears throat> i mean it's a d it, it's a dc animated show it looks good i think the animation from what i've seen still holds up so yeah. definitely very weird. stylized mm -hmm. very interesting yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not cheat and dig up another anime that hasn't reached America yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I nominate Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! wasn't even made yet. In 97? Oh, in 97? I think I don't know if the anime existed yet. In I don't know. It might have. Because well, the, the manga it... was written and started in 90... I thought the show was 99. Oh, in America. In America! Oh, God. All right, um... started getting written remember you Gi-Oh the anime or the uh the abridged series oh yeah i do yeah good times yeah, yeah. i remember that existed again and there, there was an episode from i think last year that i haven't seen so i'm excited to watch that <laughs> nice did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn <laughs> <laughs> uh Toon Jay says, I denominate Awakening Parts 1 through 5 from Gargoyles for 1995 and Dalmatian Vacation Parts 1 through 3 from the 101 Dalmatians, the series for 98. Oh, good point, Toon Jay. We, we could find stuff that for years. Uh, I don't know if it counts, but can we do Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island yeah. for like 98? Or... <laughs> that was too oh, uh, Did it ever air on TV back then? Or was it just straight to video? Might have Although been on Cartoon Network. And again, didn't we watch a uh, Justice League thing that went straight to video? Yes, <laughs> like, we did. The rules don't make no sense. Nope. They don't make no sense. You know, Netflix shows never aired on TV. Like, did BoJack ever? Big air Mouth on... disqualified. Yeah, Big Mouth, BoJack. Like, did they ever air on TV? Mm. Yeah, Cartoon Network aired it plenty of times after, but did they air it like within that year? Yeah, because the know. the award would have happened that year, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. We'd have to look it up. Mm. I nominate the Iron Giant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't uh... know if we could do that one. 
was the fight before Christmas was released on VHS first. <laughs> oh, man. Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, can I nominate Winnie the Pooh Boo to you too for 97? Go for it, Simpsons R Us. Oh, is it an hour or more? Or I guess just more than a half hour? Well, if it's forty, if it's forty-four minutes, as we've learned, it could go in either category. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. What a joke. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you want to rank the? <laughs> yeah, for I would. Fun? Put, I would put Tailspin, uh, in the number one spot for ninety-one, and I would put Willows and Winter in the number one spot for ninety-seven. Okay. Um, I'd like to put <laughs> Timon and Pumbaa season one. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, hang on. I gotta. What what year was Timon and Pumbaa season one? Timon. We just put the whole Pumbaa. series for like the three or four years that it ran. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no rules. <laughs> it, it, I mean, if it aired during the same time as like Tom and Farland Spawn, I mean, let's be fair. Timon and Pumbaa's got to be. <laughs> It started in ninety five, ended in ninety nine. So it did yeah, during yeah. Todd McFarlane's spawn. Let's do let's yeah. do ninety nine. Could we compare it to Todd Mc? We get <laughs> season three. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, all right, what well, what won the Emmys for these years? Um. They, they man this cause... this episode just ruins all all of it because like we don't even have a nominee for 91 our ranking means nothing because these weren't even up against each other nope. we didn't do a poll and obviously they each won yep uh yeah what, what 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 was your ranking sorry I, I think i interrupted you uh gosh i don't know i'd probably I enjoyed Tailspin over. I enjoyed Wind and Tailspin. Willows. Yeah, I'd probably put Tailspin over Wind and Willows and Winter. Oh yeah, the yeah. wind in the winter and the willows. Our friend Martin. Hmm. T Timon Kyo Rafiki places a curse on Timon that causes his tail to grow every time he brags. Wow, Disney's even ripping off their own stuff they've already ripped off. Good the job. spies, the the limit. After injuring a secret agent, Timon and Pumbaa uses his stuff in order to stop... Uses his stuff? Oh, I guess the secret agent's stuff. In order to stop Countdown from destroying the sun. The bad guy's name is Countdown. <laughs> you know, here's what I can say about Timon and Pumbaa Season 3. They stopped doing the fun country names. Aww. These are not as good. Yeah. They, they lost their title game. That's unfortunate. Although they do have Timon alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, the show the sh the show's not gonna get any better than this. Uh oh, we knew man. what we were getting into before we started this one. Yeah, I'm sorry, this was a dud week. There's not much we could do about it. Wait a minute, there's also an episode called Rome Alone. They used the same pun twice. What are you, the Simpsons? What are you, Powerpuff Girls twenty sixteen? They did that? Ho horn sweet horn and home sweet homesick funny uh spongebob did the same thing there's home sweet pineapple and rubble sweet rubble oh my gosh but the simpsons is the worst offender because they have they have moaning of horror treehouse of, oh, shut, horror, shut two, up. Tree of horror three treehouse of horror <laughs> four <laughs> no they have moaning lisa mm -hmm. mona leaves -a, and Mo and Elisa, which is like the character Mo with a letter N and then Lisa. Mo, Mo and Elisa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Simpsons, Simpsons titles are trash. Simpsons titles are trash. Yeah. Home is where the hog is. Oh, that's a half hour one. Ooh. Once upon a Timon and home is where the hog is, explain Timon and Pumbaa's origin, how they came to be wandering loners. Although, the Lion King one and a half contradicted oh, these here episodes. We go. The war the war is starting again. <laughs> wow, Wikipedia's getting in on it too. Oh <laughs> that was a citation, apparently. Huh. Dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, what do we got next week? <laughs> okay, so 
<clears throat> Next week, we've got five episodes, believe it or not. We're back to five as opposed to four. Um, however, there is a catch that comes with that, as everyone in the chat will see as soon as I announce them. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and pull these up. So, 1990, the half-hour category. This is the last year that we are doing on the award show audit, just as a reminder, guys. So, next week, that's it. That's the final, final year of nominees. So, first up, we have Garfield's Feline Fantasies. Garfield G- back again. Little Gigazorpazorp field. <laughs> Give me some enchiladas. There's only like two lines from that that we can quote. So. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, we have Why Charlie Brown? Why? Why Charlie why Brown? Charlie why? Charlie Brown? Why? I don't know. Gosh, Charlie Brown's getting existential. Yeah, seriously. Just, man. What is life, Charlie Brown? Why? <laughs> Why do we all die, Charlie Brown? I hope the whole episode is Charlie Brown just ends, and like some kids just like why, and Charlie Brown responds, and then he, they're just like why, and then he answers, and that's just the whole joke for the whole time. You gone to be an elephant, Charlie Brown? <laughs> why? Gigazorpazorp field, Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, oh after that, guess what? Garfield's not done because Garfield's Thanksgiving also got nominated in the same year. <laughs> Garfield got two nominations. Oh, Jika Zorpazorp Field, you sure are in two nominations. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't qu- I can't quote it. Okay. Philip K says, I don't think they know what Why Charlie Brown Why is about, which will be interesting when they do find out. Oh no, is it actually about something serious? Oh, I hope not. It's a fantastic voyage, Charlie Brown. No, no. No, stop. Don't you dare, don't you dare say those words ever again. Why does everyone else know what this Charlie Brown episode is about? We don't. I don't know. We just do, really don't. don't. Don't tell us. I don't want to read don't the tell chat. Us. I want to, we need to go in blind. I don't want to know what to expect. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So coming in with the fourth nomination is none other than, hey, guess what? It's The Simpsons with the episode Life on the Fast Lane. Ooh. Ooh. How exciting. If only you knew. Yeah, I don't, but I guess I will in a week. (laughs) And last but not least, our fifth nominee for our final half-hour category Emmys Award show. I know I'm dragging it out, but hey. It's also The Simpsons. The Simpsons (laughs) also got nominated twice with Simpsons (laughs) roasting on an open fire. So Garfield and The Simpsons both got two nominations this year. This is like the this is the only time this ever happened where a show got nominated in the same category twice, right? So like there was nothing in 1990 except The Simpsons, Garfield and Charlie Brown. Nothing else existed. I'm convinced there was nothing because what is this? Oh my goodness. So we've got two Garfields, two Simpsons, and then apparently a Charlie Brown episode that's going to depress us. Man, I can't wait. What a way to go out on this show. Right? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So uh, just to be clear, everyone, if you weren't here last week, we'll just reiterate. Um, So next week we're doing 1990, and that is going to be the last, I guess, normal episode of the award show audit. Yep. Uh after next week, we are going to, and we just we did just decide this, um, we are going to vote on the Kids' Choice Awards. So that, that's going to be the whole show. We're going to show up. We're going to not know any of the nominees. We're going to live for you guys vote on the Kids' Choice Awards. We'll get to learn about all sorts of tween celebrities we don't know about. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Maybe you guys will know uh, and, and help us with some opinions. Um I can't wait for something horribly inappropriate to be nominated. Oh, yeah. Like, uh... It's gonna be great. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... I don't know. Um, alright. And then, after that, we're gonna come back and do the rankings. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do three different episodes where we 
tier list, everything that we've watched. Yep. So, yeah, that should be that should be a lot of fun, and that's going to be the big finale, guys. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. So five more streams to go. And then Shadow and I will never work together again. Yet our friendship and never speak to each other. <laughs> oh man. And then we and then we start a Tabon and Pumba rewatch podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it but but instead of actually watching it, we just we just, we just, we just read the, the Wikipedia page. Yeah, we just read the we read the page and then we just talk about what we think we would have seen. <laughs> Had we watched it. Yeah. Oh man. I feel like that would be an interesting interesting idea though, if we just like made up what the, actually happens in the episode based on the premise alone. <laughs> like I'm sure it can get pretty insane. Washington applesauce. A voracious worm eats the apples of Apple Valley. Isn't this a My Little Pony episode? Uh, threatening the continued existence of the annual Apple Festival. Timon and Pumbaa are hard to catch the worm. This is a parody of Jaws. I mean, you said Apple enough that I, I could probably believe it would have been an, an MLP episode. <laughs> uh, when Timon yeah. suddenly fought Scent of the South. Oh no! Oh, is that no. a parody of Song of the South? I hope oh no! Disney! How could you? Okay, uh, when Timon suddenly finds Pumbaa's natural smell disgusting, the unhappy Pumbaa decides to freshen up his smell with the help of a perfume knowledgeable skunk. Hmm. This show is a disaster. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. I think I'm actually gonna watch it. No, no we're gonna I'm watch at, it together. I'm at the stream. <laughs> oh, at the stream. yes. <laughs> oh, man. We the could first watch ep- it. I'm not opposed. <laughs> okay. But... First episode's called Palm Beached. The second episode's called Jamaica Mistake. <laughs> oh, Jamaica Mistake, by the way, is about Timon and Pumbaa pursuing a supposed moth into a scary house where they're imprisoned imprisoned by vampire bats. Is this Does this happen in Jamaica? or? No, I'll tell you, does... vampire... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Okay. Um, what is the show? Though? What was that shadow? Did you Jamaica mistake? Uh, n- n- stop. <laughs> Appar- apparently, our connection got really bad there for a second. The phone and Pumba broke the stream. Oh man, is that an episode? The phone and Pumba <laughs> broke the stream. <laughs> no, there's got to be a uh, pun with a, a country in there, though. I I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Well, All right, that, everyone. That's the show, guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. We descended into madness. It was a good time. Yep. What? Uh, we're gonna end it a little early here. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> well, <laughs> on that super high energy note. We will see you guys a week from today with the final half hour category stream. So, yep. Look forward to that, and we'll see you guys then. All right. Bye bye.